Shalom everyone! Welcome back to another virtual Sunday School service. In today's lesson, we will learn about the Great Tribulation and the Wedding Supper. Let's read the summary. The Tribulation and the Wedding Supper War, disease, famine, earthquakes, floods, hurricanes, tornadoes. All these disasters have taken place on earth you have probably heard about some of them, or even lived through one or two. But in the future, these will become much worse. In fact, there will come a time of trouble upon the earth that it has been given a name, the Great Tribulation. This time of great suffering and trouble will take place after Jesus has taken believers to heaven. During the tribulation, an evil man known as the Antichrist will take power in the world. People will see his miracles and wonders and believe he is God. For a while, he will pretend to be a friend of the nation of Israel, God's people. Then he will show his true plan to destroy Israel. The tribulation is a time when God will send great trouble and suffering on the earth for the people's wickedness and rebellion against him. In spite of the suffering, they will still refuse to repent of their sin. God's people will not suffer his wrath. All who have believed in Jesus as his Savior will be in heaven with Jesus. Some people living on earth during the tribulation will reject the Antichrist, believe in Jesus, and be saved from God's wrath. All those who put their trust in Jesus are invited to the wedding supper of the Lamb. They will be given white robes of fine linen, which stand for their righteous acts in serving God. Revelation 7, 9, 13, 14, and chapter 19, verse 8. With great joy, believers will gather to celebrate their salvation. They will shout, Praise the Lord, for the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Let us be glad and rejoice, and let us give honor to him. For the time has come for the wedding feast of the Lamb, and his bride, the church, has prepared herself. Revelation 19, verses 6 and 7. The sound of their voices will be like roar of rushing waters and peals of thunder. After the wedding supper, a great feast for all believers, God's people will become the great army of the Lord, riding with Jesus as he returns to defeat the beast. Jesus himself will ride a white horse and wear a banner that says he is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. The beast and all those with him will be thrown into the lake of fire. Revelation 19 verses 11 through 20. Hallelujah, the Lord Jesus shall reign. Are you done reading the summary? During the Great Tribulation, God will send trouble and suffering to the earth, but those who believe in Him will be with Him in heaven, and they will be invited to the wedding supper of the Lamb. Do you believe in Jesus today? You will be invited to the wedding supper of the Lamb. Let's move on to the activities. Let's start on the first activity for this week, acrostic. Fill in the blanks using information from the Bible story. Write each word in the correct spaces below. The letter in the shaded area will spell a word that you can write in the blank at the bottom of the page to complete the sentence about the future. Let's do the first one together. In the last days, there will be a time of trouble called the Great do you remember what it was called from the Bible story? Write it down right here. Tribulation. What about the second one? The blank will demand to be worshipped as God.
Do the same for the rest of them. Were you able to fill in the blanks? Here are my answers. Now what does the shaded box say? Write it down here. Jesus will have victory over Satan. Let's move on to the second activity for this week. Our wedding clothes. Write the first letter of each picture in the box above it to discover what clothes the Bride of Christ will be wearing. Fill in these boxes with the first letter of each item. Here's my answer. Did you get the same one? Now let's move on to the second portion of this page. You are invited. Create an invitation to a great banquet, the wedding supper of the Lamb. Write on the inside an invitation to receive Jesus as Savior. Word it so it would be good to give to an unsaved friend or family member. Cut on the broken lines and fold. Create an invitation to one of your unsaved friends. Fill in this blank line of the name of your friend and cut it out. Here's the last part of your activity for this week. Use this information to help you write on the inside of the card an invitation for your friend or family member to accept Jesus as Savior. To attend the wedding celebration, proper clothing is required. You must complete the following to receive the wedding garment. A. Admit you are a sinner. Everyone has sinned. Ask for forgiveness, repent, and give your life to God. Acts 3 verse 19. B. Believe Jesus is God's Son who died for our sin so we can live forever with Him. Acts 16 verse 31 and Romans 5 verse 8 chapter 6 verse 23. C. Confess to others that Jesus is your Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Romans 10 verses 9. Accept Jesus as Savior and live for him. Write a note to your friend here. Then have them sign here. And that's it for this week, guys. Don't forget to remember your memory verse. Blessed are those who are invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Revelation 19 verse 9. Thank you for joining us this week. We hope to see you next week. Bye!